YouTube, what is going on? Today I am at City Athletic Club in Las Vegas. One of the best things about the Olympia weekend is getting to hang out with some of the other Team ON guys and girls. And today I'm gonna hit a leg workout with none other than my man, Julian Smith, who probably has the biggest and best set of quads I have ever seen in my life. He's being kind, it's very sweet of you. He may say that, but wait until you see this guy in action. So, Julian runs his own website, he does a great subscription service thing, and today he's gonna take, uh, I guess he's gonna take me through a little bit about how he trains legs, and uh, I might throw a few other ways that I like to do things as well, and we're gonna come up with a pretty brutal workout for you guys. Hell yeah. Ready? I'm ready, man. Alright, so guys, we've just walked into City Athletic Club. As you can see, there are people everywhere. There's probably more film crews here than there are actually people training. So what we thought we'd do today, normally I start off with the majority of my strength work towards the start of the session. What we're going to try today is a bit of pre-exhaustion or pre-fatiguing work. We're going to hit the leg extension machine first. So when I first started doing a lot of leg training, uh, I tended to stay away from squats and deadlifts simply because my lower back couldn't really handle it. And so I did a lot of this sort of stuff. So Julian's going to lead the uh, lead the way here, but I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I love training this way. What are your thoughts, man? I'm soaked. Uh, I usually like to do pre-exhaust. I have a... Uh when I go heavy on leg uh, presses, squats, anything like that, hack squats, like anybody else, I probably get a little bit more tension in my knees and stuff. So pre-exhaust, I probably do pre-exhaust before every one of my quad sessions, always. Never start with a heavy squat. He's known as the quad guy, so I'm pretty keen to uh, get stuck in. I've been working, what I need is a break, my so kick cat me, ace has for six, my I'm worth looking on, your man's hitting on, he only mad cause I TMB last week, I made a high peak, I need IV, I'm sick with this straight gangsta mag B, fees just so watch your girl cause I bet that she gon' watch me, hey, hey. I have an old uh, piece of equipment at my gym. No seat, you could lay all the way flat. So when you actually contract up, the further back you are, to, you could feel it as you contract, the contraction all the way in your upper thighs. So usually when you're a little more forward like that, I feel a lot more down in the lower section, but stretching back puts you in almost like a hurdler stretch position. So the full stretch comes all the way up and then contracts all the way up as well. My mind's made, my move is done. Checkmate, so prime, we the mood is done. I take one look, cut a couple iron packs, so I lay down flat, let them know where they at. We at the pad, show a little respect. You want a bad girl, I know it's only reflex. She got a grip, like she never gonna let go. I'm like, my get a grip, just let go. I'm no boy toy, I make moves quick. I let her know, read the notes on my sidekick. She like a sidekick, always on my side chick. Need a new hobby, trying to dig up in my pockets. She on a jack hit twice and I drop. Nice to a bop, only when I'm on a mission though. I'm shined up, and they all lined up. Had to tell them goodbye, they don't know what they missing though. So right now we're hitting the Julian Smith special, the sissy squat. So in America they have everything. This machine virtually puts you in that position where you have no choice but to go straight down and up. Major you want to feel it on the sissy squat, considering you use it so much? Yeah. So sissy squat, basically what you're doing, you always hear people say when you want to feel your glutes, you want to be pushing through your heels. If you want to help engage your quads more than anything, you want to be pushing through your toes. It's a common misconception that your knees traveling over your toes is going to hurt your knees or any, any joint mobility like that. But what it does is it isolates the quads and uh, stimulates more. So when you're coming forward, you're going to be bringing it forward like this. These are old school. This is as old school as it gets. Tom Platts, you Google sissy squats, all the old school guys are doing this. Meach, baby. Yes, sir. Once again. And they chill. Yep. Yeah, we do well. <laughs> Alright, got my game face on. Let's go, let's go. Now, when I give it to you, take this here. Always on time, never late. Cause you know we did great this year. Never fake this fear. And if you in the hood, nigga, don't be surprised. Cause I will be near. Yeah. It's me, so you know I won't be far. Nope. I'm blocking out your shots like Vandas. Yeah. I probably got your girl all up in my car. Yeah. And I'm about to rock it like a lead guitar. Woo. I party like a rock star. Like a rock you can probably tell how I spit my bar. Yeah. Girl, if you don't like me for who I am. Yeah. I'm on the attack and I got my hat to the back like yeah. There ain't no style 
stopping, just let it flow. Yeah, we do this rap, but baby. So we're gonna end our set. Got eight reps on the last one. We're gonna go for six to eight a game with the exact same weight. And then we're gonna do a quadruple. I guess it'd be a triple drop set. Pull a plate, pull a plate, pull a plate. Each time we go lighter, we're gonna slow the rep down as well. So we're gonna knock out the first set, and then as the plates get lower and lower, we're gonna slow it down to probably like five, six second negatives for the last plate to burn it out. This is a bad idea. We get it popping, popping. Show you how it goes. When you get up in the spot, you better lose control. You can say hell yeah like an EA ski Or stop and watch when you see us G Cause I got game like a PS3 It's Saint Tone de Leon and there ain't no losing Get the party started and I keep it moving I keep it rocking, the fans they jogging Beats like the women at my door they knocking It's Saint Chill, get through, I'm on a spit it Got the Vans on, white tee on, I fit it My boy is with it, man, I'm on to get it Man, when I'm in the zone, man, I'm prone to get it I was born in the city, stay raw, never show the pity I go wrong with my style, you can call it gritty Like the CA now I'm back in VA, I'm back up all like D Day, it's yeah. like that. There ain't no stopping, stopping, just let it flow. Let it flow. Yeah, we do this rap, but baby, we still rock and roll. Rock and roll. We get it popping, popping, show you how it go. How it go. When you get up in the spot, you better lose control. Lose control. There ain't no stopping, 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 stopping. We get it popping, 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 popping. There ain't no stopping, 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 stopping. We get it popping, popping, popping. Everywhere I go, everybody I see I make hits like this, now they're running to me Is it the way I rap? Listen how I go I got the Midas touch, I turn yeah. around to go And if you're getting too hot, girl, just two steps Do it time after time, till there ain't nothing left She move a little body, something like a transformer yeah. And you know we ain't leaving till six in the morning yeah. There ain't no stopping, stopping Just let it flow Yeah, we do this rap, but baby We still rock and roll We get it popping, popping Show you how it go so sticking with the, uh, I guess, quad dominant start to this session, another Julian Smith special, hitting a hack squat, finishing off with a triple drop set. Walking is definitely not going to be possible tomorrow, man. Talk us through it. What yeah, do we so just do? Basically, when I do these, usually it's the normal hack squat, but this gym has a bunch of equipment that I've never seen before, so you got to take advantage of the different equipment. So did the normal heels together that I do. Instead of your feet out in front of you, to put more pressure on the quads. So when you come down to it, it's similar to what we just did, and you're gonna be putting all the pressure on your quads. And the way that machine is set up, it works really well, but for some reason, I mean, if you look at the machine, it pushes backwards, and when you load that thing up, there's no weight. It's not anchored to the ground, so when you start pushing up, the thing was starting to rock the other way, so we had to load a bunch of plates on the front of it, so Nick didn't go flying across the room when he did more weight than me, so. of our workout we just hit a nordic curl which is basically like a reverse hamstring curl yeah so essentially we're loading up the hamstrings using our own body weight so you can see we uh, sort of tied ourselves in underneath the lap pull down falling forward 
and essentially that the straighter you, say, you stay, the further away the load gets from that loading point and it just becomes superbly difficult. So, uh, so he was I'm straight real. and I was in a ball the entire time. We both just so recovered though, like we, yeah. were, we, were, rough, we, were, rough. we were crying a bit before. <laughs> So we've got a little bit of innovation here. There's about 8 million people with about 125 machines in this gym. So we've stolen the lying leg curl. We're doing a hamstring curl with a, uh, I guess a makeshift hip thrust. everything in Vegas. That's counting the rest time down between our sets. That brings us to the end of what I would consider to be a pretty brutal workout. You can see a little bit more innovation that last set. There are so many people here. Apparently everybody is training calves today. So we sell that sissy squat machine again to hit calves and pretty much finish off toasting our legs. It's been, as I said, a brutal workout. Guys, if you follow a strength regime as to, uh, you know, similar to what I would normally do, it probably is a great way to incorporate that into maybe an accessory style day. Uh, you could use that as an accessory workout for your lower body if you wanted to. Or if you're just looking at really overloading and, and taking it another level for one of your leg days, you could try incorporating that. There's some pretty serious volume in that session. I'm going to throw Julian's details up on the screen just here. Make sure you guys check him out and give him a follow because all of his workouts are equally as brutal as that. Dude, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Time for the Olympia. Hell yeah, man.